encampment here. Also, rather they have like some food or something in this place, but that's okay. Build a holy site, nah, because I don't think we can build another special district here without making the city ten population, which will take a very long time. Pretty sure I'd rather have the encampment. But it's gonna cost 88 gold to build it over there, or down there is free. Yeah, sure. We'll build it down there, I guess. What does trading posts do? Obviously, it's a thing. I have a trading post, but why? What does it do? I don't know. Either way. Let's continue passing turns until we inevitably go to war with France. Yeah, Egypt is mocking my army. She also keeps looking down and smirking. Like she's mocking more than my army. Let's see. Let's pass the turn. I'm pretty sure we're going to go to war with France here. Like in the next couple of turns. I don't know how much military they have, but it can't be that much more than me. Unfortunately, they have the advantage of swordsmen, though. Which displeases me. Forms a core out of a military land unit. I don't know what that means. What does that do? I kind of want to retire him because we're going to go to war soon, but still. Is the core just a really good unit? I suppose we'll know eventually, but for now. France is our enemy because they have a bunch of cities right next to me that I'd like to capture. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. Also, we've learned about history. Well, written history. He wants me to do history, or not history, mercenaries. 50% discount on all unit upgrades. Castle's belly. Forgot how to actually pronounce that word properly, but... Does this game use that system? I can't just go to war with people and he's got a freaking ten size city. Nice to have a different government type right now, because I'm about to go to war. Oligarchy gives extra combat strength and more experience. That one gives two military policies, though. Hmm. Do I even have any good military policies? I have a lot of them. Fighting barbarians, production bonuses. Not particularly. There's no like damage bonuses or anything like that. Where are you going? I think you're going there. Which means you should go there. Those two reinforce that side. And 
then you can just uh, fortify for now. Production. Terracotta army, I guess. I don't know. It's not like you're building anything else. Terracotta army is quite large, as it turns out. So how do I... Like, Gandhi doesn't like me? Yeah. The only person who's not unfriendly with me is Teddy Roosevelt, of all people. Has a warmonger penalty. Hmm. Our relationship is neutral. Also, he runs the big stick policy. Make deal. Do I want anything from you? No. Joint war. With her. Um. That just just doesn't do anything. All right. Well, he doesn't want that. That's okay. I just denounce France. Oh, I, I have a Cassus Billy, probably because she already declared a war on me. And I can't denounce her, apparently. Because we're already denounced, okay. Good to know. Man, I wish I had the iron resources to actually produce units. You're going, you're going over there, that's right. You are going over there. I think they just got in each other's way for a brief period there. America's just received foreign delegations. They came from me. My own delegate has informed me that my delegate has shown up. Okay. Thanks, delegate. I appreciate it. Blast. Build. Battle. That's an interesting motto. All of three whole words. I can't. I don't have any bonuses on any of these things. I guess I should probably do castles at some point for the better city walls and all of that jazz. So that's finished building. We'll build one of those. And at some point here, I should probably end the recording. I like recording in big batches, though. It means I don't have to do it very often. And then if I do do it often, I get a whole bunch of things to upload. Which makes me like four pennies a day instead of two. It's great times. I don't actually make two pennies a day. That would be silly. Just, uh, I don't know. Chicago would give us, like, not a whole lot, but... Go to Zanzibar. There you go. We need the gold. Production, do a barracks or a stable? Probably a barracks. Well, we have a barracks in the other one. What's an armory? Or is it a stable? Well, let's build a stable then. You silly game. Come 
completely forgot we actually researched that. We're just gonna have a big old cliffhanger. Just end it before I go to war with France. I've done basically not a whole lot of anything for quite a while here. Oh, America has created buffalo. All right. I was gonna say I should settle a new city, but I'm gonna attempt to take some of France's anyway, so that's kind of null and void. At least at this point. Build a harbor. I really want to build a harbor. It's the only place I have that I could build a harbor until I take that, so that's kind of null. Never mind. I build another campus or a holy site. Let's build a holy site in this place. Build it right, there. right on the road. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to declare war. Probably going to pass by six turns here, just so I have at least the capital city capable of building military units. Man, the turns take a while, though. Mercenary, though. Hey, we just go wherever there's a mixture of money and trouble. Yay, mercenaries, I guess. The thing. Twenty turns. Yeah, it's not big. Maintain four trade routes. I can't. I can maintain two. We have sixteen sixteen tourism per turn. What does that mean, though? What do I do with tourism? I can't purchase things with tourism. Get Leviantha on my side. But why? They're way over here, aren't they? I actually don't have the. F oh no, they're right there. You know what? Sure. Pretty much my entire southern border is now allied with me. Hooray! It's for Buenos Aires, because I don't know anything about them. I've also surrounded Chicago. Neat. Hey, Gandhi, you wanna like be nice? No, you don't. Oh, okay, be that way then. Oh, so he hates France. Also, an unmet character. You're at war with Congo. You hate the U.S. The, the only place that the German Empire has found is the U.S. This entire time, they know me and the U.S. How, how do you manage this, Germany? I know you're down here in the corner, but how do you manage this? You have a city with 11 population. And you've not met anybody else? I find this hard to believe. Also, I think the person we're missing is, like, way in the west. Assuming there's not, you know, more populations that I'm not aware of, really. You. Armory. This place has got a ridiculous amount of production. Both of the cities next to France can push out military units in, like, two turns, so... Wish I had more money. Because I want to upgrade these guys to crossbowmen as well. And it's a lot, an unknown amount to do that. It's 135. I just gave you an envoy La Vinta and you left me. Also had difficulty saying that for some reason. I 
there. Well, three more turns, and then we go to a wall with France. Congo has progressed from medieval to renaissance. Congo's the first one there, aren't they? Like how Congo went from being really far behind to being <laughs> in front of everyone else, despite being at war with Egypt, which has surrounded him. Oh, actually, he's got cities over there, I wasn't aware. That's good to know. And I can claim a great person. A great engineer. Yes, please. Because that lets us... This lets us build an extra... district. Which will be nice, be nice to have in the future. Maybe not immediately right now. I completed a city-state quest. Hooray! I guess. I lost another freaking alliance with the city-state. You people are too picky with your freaking envoy counts. I just want, I can't be allied with everyone, but I want to be. Rocks in my path. I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. Hooray, castles. Siege tactics, which gives me renaissance walls, which I'm not even in renaissance yet. Gunpowder, that's what I want. Although they'll probably still require iron, and I don't have a source of iron, which is holding me back. We'll see. We'll see if we can deal with the swordsmen. If we can't, we're going to have a wee bit of a predicament with my war with France here. But with the whole not having iron, trying to fight people with iron thing. Gandhi wants my incense. And you're not even going to pay me very much. He's going to pay me freaking... Oh yeah, he is. Never mind. I can't count. 152 gold. Over 30 turns. What if you give me iron? That's a lot of gold. How about no? I wanted to avoid this, you know. But your idea of peace left me no choice. Did the U.S. just declare war on me? Yes. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, Germany has declared war on me too. Well, that's gonna put a pickle in my plans here, isn't it? It's gonna put a pickle in something. Hmm. So. The U.S. who had no actual relationship with me, they were neutral and probably the only people who liked me remotely, has declared war, and so has Germany. Why has Germany followed them? They're neutral. <laughs> He's apparently. He's not even allied or anything with the U.S. He's just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna go to war now. He's also nowhere near me, so... I don't know. Well, um... Where's my on in in influence? Influence points? Like that? No, that's science. Where? Oh, then we have 44 now. I'll have an envoy soon. If I can get Leventa on my side again. Although I lost Zanzibar too. Zanzibar needs 5. Hmm. I wish you could take envoys from other places. That'd be nice. Make it too easy, though. I'd need two envoys to get them back, but if I could, I'd have a nice little shield on the south defending me. Because at the moment, I don't really have any military in any position to defend that side, so... Hmm. Well, five declarations of war that turn. Oh yeah, they had a uh, city-state with them, didn't they? Oh, way down there. Wait, who else declared war? 
Oh right, uh, Kabul declared war on everyone as well. Wonders in the world, and the discovery of the Terracotta Army, we may say, is the eighth miracle of the world. I have finished construction of my Terracotta Army just in time for war. A lovely little building. And all of my units just got promoted at the same exact time, didn't they? That they did. Let's upgrade all these. I'm gonna convert him at some point, so I don't know if this matters, but... Everyone gets promoted. Including you. So we've got Volley. I don't think the general gets promoted, no. This guy does, though. He can scale cliff walls. I'm sure. And that's all I had, I think. The holy crab is still followed in that, that place there. That that place. Well, I'm obviously going to need a military. Obviously going to want to build this, too, because it gives me a military slot. It'll take half a century to build the... You! I'm going to be the place that builds my units, probably. I guess we should probably build some. <laughs> I suppose we will do that instead, and then if they ever actually get over here to fight, we'll have to do something. Something, I don't know what. Something will have to be done about this whole we're at war with the US and Germany. The US, at the very least, is fairly large. Let me look at the world rankings before we end this though. France is leading the domination victory. I'm in sixth. So US has 217. Germany has 157. Germany actually has less military strength than me, I thought. Yeah. I got 198. I got 157. U.S. is beating me, though. And Egypt has passed me in the cultural victory. I'm still leading the science victory, though. Which should just give me an advantage in general, because science means better units. Although I don't have the freaking iron to do anything with it. God dang it. But whatever. That'll be for next time. I was hoping to go to war with France, but instead we're gonna have to deal with we might take, take uh, Chicago. If we could take that, that'd be nice, because that's a nice little river location there. I doubt we're going to be taking Washington out, but who knows? We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.